afford to keep quiet and that can you afford to be sluggish now say eyes of darkness assigned to monitor my life we die in the name of jesus open your mouth and begin to pray Masati Lakatanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power taking my name to the coven. Die with the coven. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Aha. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Oh God, Allah, overthrow the wicked in my life. In the name of Jesus, command the wicked to be overthrown. Overthrow them, overthrow them. Aha. Jesus name we pray every altar of darkness walking against my moving forward touch fire in the name of Jesus deal with the altar of darkness Jesus name we pray so every power challenging my moving forward you are a liar in the name of Jesus aha, 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 aha. something is happening here this man the power of God in the name of Jesus, move in Jesus' name. We pray every satanic wind blowing against my prosperity, backfire in the name of Jesus. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh God of favor, appear in my life. In the name of Jesus, ask for the favor of God. Appear, 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 appear. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every charm walking against my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Set the charms ablaze. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Jesus name we pray silence now you've cried to heavens you have already cried to heavens let there be silent that woman over there your children were initiated into witchcraft in order to divert your destiny but beginning from this morning service the gate of admission of those children into witchcraft has been closed forever 
that person over there at a dying person in your family who was confessing to witchcraft mentioned that they had destroyed your life something is happening to you where you are standing that which had been destroyed you have recovered them all that's the person over there that's right ha huh. there are some people here this morning the lord said the problem is that your virtues have been buried but right there where they are buried wherever it is in the world there is an angel that has been dispatched through the avenue of your prayers to recover those things that have been buried and it's coming back to you 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 every program serpent serpents in the chest serpents in the womb serpents in the backbone serpents swallowing pregnancies serpents swallowing blood i address those serpents now by the power in the blood of jesus for it is written that as soon as they hear of me they shall obey me strangers shall submit themselves unto me the strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places let the serpents now begin to depart and go back to their senders in the name of jesus silence beloved let the serpents go that's right the serpent of infirmity under the armpit the serpent of infirmity in the heart the serpent of infirmity in the head the serpent of infirmity in the intestine in the kidney in the liver in the womb in the legs the serpents of infirmity that place is not your habitation lose your hold now get out of that hiding place by the power in the blood of jesus that's the first person over there that's number two that's number three that's number four that's number five that's number six check your body now you find out that infirmity that you brought here has completely vanished but we're still praying we're still praying i see a brother over there they have been blocking your way all these years but there is a command from heaven that they should let you go and your way is open now in the name of jesus ah, ah. say dark chains let your voice be loud your time is up Pray! in the name of jesus yes thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus dark chase your time is up Break! Aha! In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence. Perfect silence. Masse katenda la karabushe. Ribasea le kantanda. You, that person over there, that you have been taken into the forest when you were having some troubles and you thought you were looking for a solution. But they just mounted more problems on you. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And the problem the enemy has arranged against your life. is being separated from you. As a person over there. Father, anyone in this service now. Being remotely controlled by evil powers. Let your power go to such people one by one. One by one. One by one. Wherever they are and begin to break the hold of this evil control break break still going on you that woman over there i command the spirits of your dead mother 
to come out of you now in the name of Jesus yes how's the power of God coming upon you the powers that have been diverting your money and stealing your prosperity something is happening right now there is a separation between you and that evil power aha, aha. I told you that's an awesome thing that's going to happen here today you the problem in the bone receive the healing power of Jesus in the name of Jesus check your body now if you brought any sickness here and you find that the sickness has disappeared I don't want the devil to put it back on you run quickly to the altar here so that you can cover your miracle with the blood of Jesus and affliction will not rise again come very quickly that is you check your body you find that you brought a, a particular infirmity here that has vanished everybody will shout this loud and clear where is the Lord God of Elijah Allah advertise your power in my life in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray silence there are some incisions between the two breasts of a woman here some incisions the incisions have been troubling your destiny fire is coming upon those incisions so that they can let you go yeah, that's the power of God that's the power of God coming upon you yes things are happening here today the power sitting on your document of miracle and your letter of miracle I see them being uprooted now thank you Jesus say strong man of financial embarrassment Death! in the name of Jesus Jesus Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. There are some people here this morning. There is a satanic stronghold detaining and delaying your blessings. Once you pray this prayer, the prayer will connect you to the God of 24 hour breakthroughs can you shout this loud and clear every power delay my blessings your time is up there in the name of Jesus
Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Maso Pia Likata. The Ribo Sopola Kaya Boko Shenteraba. Makantanda Rabo Sopola Kaya Boko Shenteraba Santa. Just receive your 24 hour miracle. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray and the powers of the night have been troubling your dream life and the powers of the night have been stealing from you and the powers of the night have stolen your destiny stolen your virtues right there where you are in the name which is above all names Jesus Christ is son of the living God receive your deliverance now receive it receive it Receive it, 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 in the name of Jesus. Makate Satan Diabosha. That's right. That's the power of God coming upon you. Something is happening to you over there. That's right. That's the power of God. Masikatenda ya bushende rabaka. Daribo kapiali katanda. Every wicked mark put on your forehead in the night. Let the blood of Jesus begin to wipe them off. In the name of Jesus. The swelling in the neck, the one in the armpit, the one inside the throat, the one inside the nostril, the one inside the womb, the one on the backbone. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I command you to receive your healing now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you have any sickness on your body, lay your hands there now. All the forces of Goliath, the forces of Herod, the forces of Sambalat and Tobiah, troubling the body of anyone here, the spirits of infirmity, I bind you now. And I cast you out. Get out and enter no more. Get out, enter no more. Get out, enter no more. Get out and 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 enter no more. In the name of Jesus. Silence now, beloved. That sister over there. You have been seeing yourself being pursued, being harassed, being tormented and afflicted right there where you are. The blood of Jesus is being poured upon you to remove you from the cage of torment. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. That's right. You long term problems, long term infirmity, long term condition. Hear the word of the Lord. It is written that every tree that my father has not planted shall be rooted up and thrown into the fire. I command you to disappear. Receive your deliverance. Receive it. Receive it. 
As in blocking the way of your complete joy, I command the powers to scatter in the name of Jesus. Receive your testimony by the power in the blood of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it in the name of Jesus. And every power that does not want to let you go, I command the power to be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. Silence now, beloved. You, the powers moving about in the body, causing discomfort, I cut off your power. In the name of Jesus. Aha. That's right. All the heaviness in the legs, the heaviness in the neck region, the pain in the head, the migraine, the breathing difficulties. I bind your power in the name of Jesus. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you brought any sickness here, check your body now do what you are not able to do before do it now check your body very well i don't want the devil to put the problem back on you so once you check your body and you discover that you have been healed quickly find a way to the altar here i didn't say you should come out if you want prayer no 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 you've checked your body you've, you brought a condition here it has vanished find a way quickly to the altar here don't let the devil put, out, put back the problem. Everybody will now shout this loud and clear. Please, this is not a day to negotiate. Powers of the night. Troubling my habitation. Can you shout this loud and clear? Damn! In the name of Jesus. Makato sopola kaya bo shandara. Descende kaya bo shentera bo kopola baraba. Bakata sateka. Descende kikalaba. Bada ribo soponde kaya bo shanda. Mana kaponde kesa. Ribo sopia likatanda yaba. Aha aha aha. In Jesus name we pray. Something is coming out of somebody's womb. It was the enemy that put it there in the dream. Yes, that's the fire of God. Burning in that womb. Let's be released from that bondage right now. Masse katenda ya boshende. Da katela bokombo kandera bosontonde ke ya boshente raba. Every power searching for my face. In demonic mirrors, can you shout that loud and clear? Your time is up. Time. In the name of Jesus, somebody is supposed to pray this one with violence. Don't keep quiet. Basikate sependeke ke ya go shanta. Aha, 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 aha. Just. Masika ya bo shendera bo kusentera ba. Just.
In Jesus' name we pray. There are some people here this week, every day of this week, will bring you mighty testimonies. Can you shout this louder than anyone here? Wickedness of the night. A sign against my life. Expire. In the name of Jesus. Command the wickedness of the night to expire. Something has happened to your life today. Jesus. Jesus. Aha. 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 Every load of darkness. Every luggage of darkness. In anybody's body. In the soul. In the spirit. Catch fire. 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 Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. Tonight, my father, provoke your violent angels to fight for me. Can I hear the sister say that one? There is a sister who needs to shout this loud and clear. I think the sister should try a little bit more tonight. Let me hear the brothers roar like thunder. Let your voice roar like thunder, brothers. Everybody should get out. In the name of Jesus. Baseta kapola kandera basanda. Enough is enough. There must be a fight. The violent angels of God must fight for you. Jesus name we pray say tonight every witchcraft bird fly against me shut down in the name of Jesus In Jesus name we pray. That sister has been having trouble in the breast. Check it very well. Because the arrow has gone back to the senders. Don't allow the devil to put it back on you. Find a way to the altar very quickly. That's right. The powers that have been sitting on your backbone. And physically pressing your wound. Look at what is happening now. That evil hand has withered. <laughs> Father, I thank you for your children that have healed. I cover their testimony with the blood of Jesus. Cover their miracles with the blood of Jesus. Your word says they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. By the word of your testimony, you are set free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat now unless you have a testimony to share with us. Those of you with testimony, remain where you are. That's right. 
but don't hide what God has done for you so that the enemy will not bring it back thank you Jesus thank you Jesus three prayers the Bible says while men slept his enemies came with violence and with fire please don't negotiate with these prayers every enemy that came while I was sleeping your time is up in the name of Jesus pray this prayer beloved thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus, thank you, Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. That person that came out with the issue of blood, go and check your body now. That evil flow has stopped. There's somebody here today who you quite a large sum of money. The last one I should tell you that before next Sunday, they shall pay up what they are who you. That's right. Say this again loud and clear. Pharaoh of my father's house sink in the Red Sea in the name of Jesus open your mouth and declare command the Pharaoh to sink thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Now, with your two hands raised up, you will now decree this anti prosperity change. My hand is not your candidate. Break! In the name of Jesus. Break it. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray silence it's a woman here your fallopian tube was cut off but a new one has come into position there is someone here tonight those powers that have been frustrating you have been completely destroyed yes the power of paralysis that has been harassing somebody here that arrow has gone back to the senders Yes, Makate Satender, Riba Sapira Katenda. Aha, with a voice that is louder than that of anyone here, it is time to kill some powers. Say, Power behind my problem. What are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus. Something is happening here. Repeal the satanda. Receive the torture of God. Receive it. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. The power of God. It's about to fall on 40 percent right there where you are there are witchcraft sponsored infirmities in your body but when i count seven from here 
which is a sign of perfection the supernatural power of god will fall upon you your body will begin to shake and the infirmity will disappear in the name which is above all names i order all these problems to depart in the name of jesus one two three four five six seven Yes. Whatever you cannot do before you got here, you need to do so now. The power of God is falling on that person over there. That's right. Every arrow in the brain, the arrow in the chest, the arrow in the eyes, the arrow in the womb, they are going out, they are going out. That's the power of God coming upon you. Yes, yes, my papa said in the Kayabo Shanta. Silence, silence, silence. I'm going to count another seven from here, and five things will begin to happen to those who are experiencing the following strangulating powers strangulating your life strangulating your health strangulating your finances the agenda of stagnation and spirits controlling your life in a negative way and the circular powers that is circulating you around the problem and blood polluting powers all their five arrows will go back to them the power of god will fall upon you you may not be able to stand on your feet in the name which is above all names jesus christ the son of the living god receive your breakthrough now one two three four five six seven yes that's the power of god coming upon you aha Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Check your body now. Many stubborn situations have disappeared. Check your body now. If you find that the healing power of God has touched you, run quickly to the altar here. Don't let the enemy put it back on you. If you have checked your body very well and you are sure, if you are not sure, they will send you back to your seat. Find a way quickly to the altar. Don't let the devil put it back on you now you will now pray this prayer which also has helped millions all over the world every owner of evil load hear the word of the lord carry your lord in the name of jesus Don't negotiate at all. That's the amazing power of God. Amazing power of God. Amazing power of God. Amazing power of God. Jesus. Jesus. Look at what is happening over there. In Jesus name we pray. Who is Bolade here? Your name is Bolade. If you are Bolade, find a way to this place. 
you have lived in a place before. This is how you are going to know yourself. You have lived in a place before where there was a well at the back of the house. You don't live there any longer. But all your virtues are in that well. Right there where you are. Mase kapota. Your virtues that have been stolen by the demon in that well is restored back to you now. How's the power of God coming upon you? Just aha. The powers that wants to make me a laughing stock. Can you shout it loud? Before we share the grace here. In the name of Jesus. Yes, powers that want me to be a laughing stock, deal with them now. In Jesus' name, we pray. Well, I day you may go back to your seat before 10 days, all your sorrows of the past will have been wiped away. Make sure you share your testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I have seven prayers to pray for all who are gathered here today. And don't go home until you have received those seven prayers. Meanwhile, pick a song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Peace and the Lord of Love. Point your two hands to this altar as I make these seven prophetic proclamations. Make sure you connect your life to it, and when you begin to experience the manifestation, make sure you testify. I'm praying for somebody here that beginning from now, they will be hunting you around for money and business. In the name of Jesus, they will be hunting for you. To give you money to give you business in the name of jesus i'm praying for somebody here the toiling powers the hard labor powers that has been escorting the journey of your life is buried completely tonight in the name of jesus I'm praying for somebody here that divine favor shall arise and bombard you in the name of Jesus. Every part of the body that has stopped working in anybody's life, come alive now in the name of Jesus. Come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive. Come alive. Come Alive in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for somebody here from the hands of those who are saying, Over their dead body, will you prosper? Over their dead body, will you marry? Over their dead bodies, will you do well? Receive your breakthrough now in the name of Jesus. Light your ever roar like thunder. Makasa Center. I'm praying for somebody here. The God of suddenly shall arise for your sake. In the name of Jesus. Every manipulation against your destiny shall be scattered. In the name of Jesus. Silence now. A surgery is taking place in the brain of a young lady. 
you were very bright before all of a sudden it's as if you can't remember anything as if your brain has been taken out right there where you are the power of god is coming upon you and your stolen brain is coming back thank you jesus thank you jesus i say man i call rufus if you are rufus find a way quickly to the altar you are going to know yourself because you are from a polygamous home all the witchcraft powers of the polygamy of your father's house they are buried any virtue you may have but thank god you are here tonight and it's working in the supernatural beginning from tonight that which has been stolen is coming back to you now your name is Rufus. Find a way to this altar. Be on your knees. Thank you, Jesus. Now, the final prayer you are going to pray before you go home. Pray it with fire and with power. With fire and with power. Shout this louder than anyone here. In my dream tonight. Oh, have Jesus Demotion fire seven folds every hour of demotion back fire seven folds every hour of demotion back fire seven folds in the name of Jesus open your mouth and begin to declare let the hour of demotion begin to back fire In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for this wonderful evening. And we praise the only name for bringing us here. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Tonight, visit us. Open our understanding. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. A loud hallelujah. Let's have a seat, please. The mystery of spiritual visitations. The mystery of spiritual visitations. There is a world of the spirit. There is a world of the physical. There is a world of the dead. There is a world of the living. There is a world where men do not tread. There is a world where the languages there are completely different from ours. There is a world which is different from our own. There is a world which is different from where we tread. And there is a realm in the spirit which is not available in the physical. So normally, as a matter of rule, the living have nothing to do with the dead. Really, there should be no connection. And so when the disciples of Jesus went back to the grave and they were looking for Jesus, the angel said, why seek ye the living amongst the dead? There are different kinds of spirit realm. When one realm is visiting another is an important thing. It is good for you to understand that the spiritual controls the physical. And that thing in the spiritual is where the power lies. In life, you can only have two types of spiritual visitation. 
one divine visitation. Beloved, I tell you one truth as I stand here tonight. If God appears in your home, there will be peace there. If God appears in your business, there will be prosperity. If God appears to you in sickness, the sicknesses fly away. If God appears to a demon possessed, the demon possessed is set free. If God, by special grace, pays you a special visit, it is more than gathering all the general overseers in this world and all the prophets of this world and you ask them to come to your city room. If God talks to you for five minutes, it is more than any preacher talking to you for five years. When you encounter what you call divine visitation, it will give rise to what you call unforgettable experiences. It gives rise to uncommon breakthroughs. It gives rise to you receiving priceless information. It gives rise to you receiving direction for your life. What a wonderful thing is it, beloved, when you have a divine visitation. Men who have divine visitation, their lives never, never remain the same. Don't get me wrong, beloved. I'm not saying those who visit churches. No, no. Or you come to a service, you have some uh, joy in your heart. Mm -hmm. A heavenly visitor pays you a visit. That house that they visit you in is blessed. The room you were in that day is blessed. If you are sleeping on a bed, that bed that, that night is blessed and you sitting down there, you are blessed. God has no time to waste. God is not a time waster. And God does not pay purposeless visits. I want you to understand that very, very well. Enoch in the Bible received many, many divine visitations from God. When the divine visitation became almost an every minute affair, God said, there is no sense in your trouble this man. Let's go. And he took him away. Many are complaining day and night. I don't know why I don't have a common breakthrough. Why don't you ask for a divine visitation? Why don't you ask the Lord to visit you and to appear? When God appears in a situation, no matter how tough your enemy is, that's the day they will flee. No matter at what battle front you are fighting, the battle only continues until God appears at the war front. Beloved, when God appears at your battle front, there is no battle anymore. When God appeared to Noah, Noah built the ark. When God appeared to Jacob, Jacob was totally changed. When God appeared to Isaiah, for the first time Isaiah saw himself, he said, Woe is me for I'm undone. I'm a man of unclean lips. For the first time that prophet was able to locate himself. When God appeared to Jeremiah, he received a wonderful commission. I've set you up to root up, to throw down, to pull, to plant, to build. Appearance of God to people, God's visitation has nothing to do with your age. Nothing at all. If God appears in the life of some of these people who are teenagers or young people, they will be completely, they will live a completely different life. They will see things differently. When God appeared to Paul, when God visited him, he became the apostle to the Gentiles. When God appeared to the parents of Samson, they conceived Samson. When God appeared to Zechariah and Elizabeth, they gave back to John. When God appeared to prophet Elijah, Elijah for the first time stood on Mount Carmel and challenged 850 satanic agents to a contest. It is therefore a very wonderful thing to receive that first kind of visitation, a divine visitation. It is this kind of visitation that God pays to people and he will tell you things he cannot tell others. It is an experience to be cherished. Would to God that God will visit everyone present here today and our church will completely be transformed. Job, listen to what Job said in Job chapter 23. Listen to what Job said he would do if he finds God. Job chapter 23, I read from verse 3. Job 23 verse 3. Job 23 verse 3. Oh, that I knew where I might find him. That I might come even to his seat, I will order my curse before him and fill my mouth with argument. I will know the words which he will answer me and understand what he will say unto me. Will he plead against me with his great power? No. 
But he will put strength in me. There the righteous might dispute with him. So shall I be delivered forever from my judge. Behold, I go forward, but he is not there. I'm backward, but I cannot perceive him. On the left hand, where he does walk, I cannot behold him. He hided himself on the right hand, that I cannot see him. So, but he knoweth the way that I take. When he had tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Many believers only know the Lord superficially. But the Bible says, They that know their God shall be strong. Can you see what I've just said? <laughs> Can you shout it loud and clear? The opposite is that they that do not know their God shall be weak. They can know the general of Asia. They can know all the pastors. They may even be their uncles or their brothers. That's different from knowing God. They that know their God shall be strong. They that do not know their God shall be weak. They that know their God shall do exploits. They that do not know their God shall be exploited. Many believers just know the Lord superficially. Many don't really love God. Because some are just seeking for the hands of God and they're not looking at his face. Give me, give me, give me, give me. But they're not looking at his face. This man, you're asking to give you something. Look at his expression. Is he happy with you? They find the time they spend in the presence of God completely uninteresting. Our present generation does not provide for quiet. But the secret many believers do not know is that the Lord loves our communion. He enjoys you talking to him and he talking to you. If you say somebody is your lover, then you enjoy talking to each other. And there will be many things you'll be talking together you if you can't share in the open. God wants men to be his lover. But when there is no time to listen to him or to hear from him, no time to shut out other voices and noises, then visitation will be very, very difficult. This is not just running to the mountain. Many ran to the mountain with the problem of the valley and they came back with their problems multiplied. You say, yes, so, but I, 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 I fasted before, but I didn't receive any visitation. You cannot force God to visit you. He will visit at his own time. For how long have you waited on God waiting for a visitation? Maybe you tried week, one weekend. It's silent. Why don't you try another weekend? You try doing some kind of program, no visitation. Why don't you try another program again? Divine visitation is a very, very wonderful thing. And at this level now, I'd like you to close your eyes. This is a very, very interesting and serious matter. When God appears in your blood, your blood is charged with fire. When God appears in that business, all those who are swallowing your business will run away and prosperity will come. When God appears in your spiritual life, and you receive a divine visitation, you become an entirely different person. As many people as are clamoring for a divine visitation, and you are thirsty and hungry for it, it is to them I want to address now. Those who are not really serious with it yet, you can keep quiet or pray a gentleman's prayer. But as many people as want a visitation of heaven, you will say this louder than anyone in this arena. Oh God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. Is that the loudest who can shout that name? Visit me by fire. In the name of Jesus.
Amen. There are two songs I want you to sing now. One is in English, one is in Yoruba. Sing any one that is convenient for you. One is, Oh Lord, come down. I manifest your power. Come. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest. Oh look like Jesus me. Oh look like me. Pharaoh me oh ni no aye me oh. O look by like Jesus me. O look by like Jesus me. O look by like me. Fala on me, oh, Nino, I hear me, oh. O look by like Jesus. Come down, oh Lord, and manifest your power. Oh, yeah, oh. oh, yes, come down. Oh Lord, I manifest your power. Raise your voice, 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 raise your voice. Come down. Oh, 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 oh. oh yes, 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 yes. Oh yes, I come. Oh yes, something is happening already. Masopoko tenda kaya bo shanta rabo karaba. Yes, I'm Oh, come, uh, oh Lord, and manifest your power. Oh, come on, yes, 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 come down. Masopoko tenda kaya bo shanta rabo raba. Real it has sent a Kayaba. Oh, come down, oh Lord, and manifest your power. Let the glory of the Lord come down. Let the glory of the Lord come down. Let the glory of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the glory of the Lord come down. Amen. Let the glory of the Lord come down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Glory of the Lord. Oh, oh. Amen. Oh yes, 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 oh yes. My glory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The glory of the Lord. Oh. Hallelujah, let the glory of the Lord come, heaven come, come, the glory 
Riabolo contenda kaya bushanta. Bekependa kaya bushanta raba. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Silence, beloved. His presence has the ability to destroy every agenda of darkness. His presence has the ability to put every enemy to shame. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's have a sit and continue a little bit. The second type of visitation is the negative visitation. The visitation by the enemy. There is no one that the devil does not visit. But when the demonic forces come, the purpose is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. John 14, 30 tells us, John chapter 14, verse 30, 
says this. Hereafter, I will not talk much with you. For the prince of this world commit and have nothing in me. He paid Jesus a visit. So there is nobody they don't visit. But the important thing is that such visits should not prosper in your life. Unfortunately, the weapons of the enemy has prospered in so many lives before they start praying. Very few can boldly say they escaped untouched. Many have fought vigorously in their dreams. Maybe they won. But in winning, they receive a few blows too. Sometimes there is a boxing match. And somebody has won the match. But you see, even the winner, you can't see his eyes outside because he has received blows with swollen face. He's still a winner, but he has swollen face. So, the spiritual wounds that people have received in those visitations needs to be healed. Satanic visitation is a terrible thing, especially for the fearful and the ignorant. Some of the things that characterize satanic visitations are this. All of a sudden, you feel a cold chill running through your body. The night. You don't know where it's coming from. Sometimes, you see, if you see a paralytic force all over the body, you want to lift your hand, lift your leg, you can't lift them. Those are the visitation hours. Sometimes the head seems to be larger than usual. Those are the visitation hours. Sometimes the person is suppressed on the bed. Those are the hours of visitation. Sometimes it's direct attack by masquerades or evil soldiers or a black agent appearing in the room. Sometimes it's demon idols sent to people. Sometimes they blow wind at people. Sometimes I says a feeling of sharp objects entering the body. You just notice something is entering the body. Sometimes strange voices are speaking. The person cannot see the strange voice. Somebody told me he went on 40 days fasting. And after the 14 days fasting, the day he was breaking the fast. He had a voice. The voice called his name. And he said, you are failed. After 40 days, he broke down and cried. It's a visitation of darkness. Sometimes the person finds himself arranged in a courtroom. Sometimes people find themselves arranged in a group of people with black uniform. Sometimes these agents come to people. They don't harm people. They go away. But it's a lie. Invisible evil materials have already been planted in the body. There is practically no word no one here today who at one time or the other has not had any demonic or evil visitation. Tonight is the night to fight off the effect and consequences of such visits. If instead of going forward you find yourself going backwards, you have had an evil visit and the visit has prospered. You marry success but success is not coming your way. You should be a winner but you are failing. Sometimes you don't even understand yourself. Sudden hatred between husband and wife. A rich person suddenly turning poor. Your life has remained completely stagnant for years. Unnatural movement in parts of the body. Inability to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Problems are just multiplying. Problems are going, another one is coming. It means you have received an evil visitation and the visit has prospered. Any area in which evil visitation has prospered shall be resolved tonight in the name of Jesus. Let your amen be loud and clear. Many have received body arrows during unprofitable visitations. And so you begin to notice weakness in prayer, constant sickness, spiritual sluggishness, regular night feeding, inability to sleep well, sleeping during prayers, losing joy of salvation. You need to stir up yourself here tonight and shake off these arrows of visitation to go back to where they came from. I know a man of God, they sent a demon idol to him. And he looked at the demon idol. I said, the demon idol came and stood before him and mentioned all his names. All the names they gave to him on the day it was, uh, on the day it was named. Even the names he was not bearing. The demon idol mentioned everything. Say, you, this, 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 this. I was sent to you. The man of God said, really? Okay, number one. Stand at attention like a soldier. It is too still. So, okay, what's that in your hand? Say, club. It's okay. So, start to use it on your own head now. And he began to use it. And as he was eating himself, a woman's voice was crying. 
The woman force was crying until the thing continued until he broke his own head completely. By the next morning, five people were dead. All those who conspired to send the evil visitor. And I decree here tonight, any power that has conspired to send evil visitors to you shall receive the arrow sevenfold tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. But then, there's a mystery behind evil visitation. The evil behind it is what we call the magnet of darkness. The magnet of darkness is a spiritual deposit. The enemy has a tangible object, visible or invisible, inside the person's body. This deposit could be in any part of the body. You could have a plantation of darkness in your body. This is not just a demon, but a property of darkness. It is, a, it is, it has, it is now constituting a negative magnet. When there is that negative magnet in a person's body, it will bring bad luck, bad aura, spiritual irritation. You become a candidate of constant attacks. There will be blockages and unexplainable hatred. Terrible accidents. Unexpected tragedies. Peppery body, pain-like pains. Dreaming and forgetting. And all kinds of other terrible things will be happening because the magnet will be attracting evil to you. This is where one has to be very, very careful. Once you acquire a magnet of darkness, it's like you put dry fish inside your cupboard or you put sugar inside your cupboard and you say ants should not visit. Rats don't come up, but you put the thing there. It will magnetize them. We call them. They smell it where they are. They send out their hunter dogs to smell out where they should go. I pray that tonight, whatsoever is attracting the enemy to any life here, shall die completely in the name of Jesus. That's why, if you go to fake churches, and they give you baths, they bathe you, it's a magnet of darkness. They've seen visions for you, a magnet of darkness. Their prophets have slept with you, you are in trouble. A magnet of darkness. You went to a herbalist. You are visiting there. Puts the magnet in your body. You practice all the occult or read their books. It's a magnet of darkness. There are many things that can consider that magnet. What you need to do is tonight to make up our mind. That anything that is in our lives that is magnetizing the enemy, we should ask the Lord to forgive us of them. We should repent before the Lord and get saved. Then we should begin to pray to clear out every demonic property from our lives. Then we begin to pray personalized, violent, and specific prayers. And begin to cancel whatsoever evil visitation has planted in our lives. One thing is certain, beloved. Satan can never defeat a soul that is wearing the whole armor of God. He who wears the armor of God shall defeat Satan. Read your Bible very well. You will never find a saint harassed by the enemy who did not come out victorious. In Genesis chapter 3 verse 14, God issued an irrevocable curse on Satan. Genesis 3 14. And the Lord said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shall thou go, and thou dost shall thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. He shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his ill. God has placed a curse on Satan. A curse that cleaves to Satan like glue. That curse prostrates Satan under our feet. That's why Jesus said, nothing shall by any means hurt you. I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. Because God has said upon the belly shall thou go. So all the bruises that Satan is given by this evil visitation, he shall be rewarded with the breaking of his own head. So as believers, we are not food for the devil's mouth. Let the devil bring up all his tricks. For every weapon that he has, God has higher weapons. And God will Pursue the saint's enemy. That's his promise. God will break the brain of the enemy. He will break the brain. 
God will use the enemy's weapon to beat and wound the head of the enemy. All the fight that Joseph brothers fought him, they just helped him to fulfill his destiny. While they thought they were destroying him. Those who are trying to destroy you, they will help you to fulfill your destiny. So I want you to understand, whatsoever game your enemy has played so far, God outplays them at his own game. God will take the clever hunter and put him in his own trap. And God can arrange excellent deliverance for anybody. And if God is working in your life, none can drive God from his work. I want you to understand that this evening as we are going into prayers now. The kind of prayers we are going to start praying is both preventive, curative, and is defensive. Rise up on your feet now. And all eyes closed. This is first round of those prayers. Why is he coming down for the second round? All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here tonight and you are not born again, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, do so very, very quickly now. Where you are, just raise up your right hand and say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you tonight. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. These prayers, as I want you to pray, pray them with the whole of your heart. Especially if you know that one way or the other, the enemy has paid you a visit. It is not a sin to overpray, but it's a sin to underpray. Even if you feel like nothing happened to you, it is still safer to pray. The first prayer I want you to pray now, which many have prayed in many places and has given that it has given them a lot of relief, is the prayer we are going to start with now. Visitations of darkness into my life. Is that the loudest you can say it? In the name of Jesus. Deal with the visitations. Masopika tende keye bo shente raba. Bonaka tenda kaya bo shente. It's up already. That's right. Bosse just Jesus name we pray. Let there be silence now. Silence completely. The Lord said, there are people here tonight, as a result of visitations of darkness, some infirmities have entered into their lives. Right now, the infirmities that have entered as a result of the evil visitation, the one that is ringing in the center of the head, the one that is causing heaviness on the head, the one that is causing cloudiness in the eyes, the one that is causing arthritis in the legs, the one that is causing evil swelling in parts of the body, the one that is causing some parts of the body to start behaving strangely, the one that is causing evil swelling in parts of the body, the one that is causing cobwebs surrounding the face, the one that is causing paralysis, right there where you are, 
the plantation that was planted during the visitation. According to the word of God at every tree that the father has not planted. She have been rooted and thrown into the fire. Those things have been uprooted now. And they have been thrown into the fire. They have been uprooted. They have been thrown into the fire. They have been uprooted. They have been thrown into the fire. They have been uprooted. They have been thrown into the fire. They have been uprooted. They have been thrown into the fire. In the name of Jesus. What's happening? Check your body now. Check your body now. Check that material moving about in your waist. Check that neck that the enemy has fired an arrow into. Check that breast to discover that the evil swelling there has gone. Check under your feet to see that that plantation of the enemy has disappeared. Check the anea to see that it has vanished. It's happening all over the place. Because they come as a, as a result of visitation of darkness. Silence. Check your body properly. Properly. Immediately you find that the Lord has removed that plantation of infirmity. Please don't allow the devil to put it back on you. Just quietly find a way to the altar here. I didn't ask you to come out if you want to be prayed for. No, 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 no. But God has touched you and I want to, put, want to pray for you to put a seal on that miracle. So that the enemy will not bring it back. Just find a way quietly here now to the altar. Thank you, Jesus. Every property of the enemy in my life catch fire in the name of Jesus. That's right. Command the property of the enemy to catch fire. Tonight is tonight. You must not go home with any property of darkness. That's why Jesus brought you here. Masopoko tende kata. Mariaboko sotonde keya bo shente raba. Manaribo soponde keya bo shente raba. Aha, 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 aha. Something is happening again. Every property of the enemy in my life. Catch fire. 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 Maseka tenda kaya bo shende raboka. Boride ke se tende ke ye bo shente raba. Manare aloko se pa. Bale ke tende ke ye bo shente raboko raba. Masente ke ye bo shente raba. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Aha, 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 aha. The fire is burning. The fire is burning. In Jesus' name we pray. Things are happening again. Check that stomach trouble you brought here. Find that the arrow of infirmity there had backfired. This person has been losing blood very aggressively. Go and check now. That evil blood flow has stopped. Just check your body and quietly find a way to the altar here. The prayer we are going to pray now, the Lord will use it to lift many out of whatever situation the enemy has put them. Allow and let the root 
of my problems die in the name of Jesus yes let the root of my problems die in the name of Jesus Jesus let your power move here in an awesome manner let your power move in an awesome manner let your power move in an awesome manner masika pola kaya bo shente raba banaribo sopende kaya bo shente tesetende kaya bo shente rabo kopola baraba Thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. Yeah, receive a lifting up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive a lifting up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive a lifting up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive a lifting up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive a lifting up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive a lifting up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive a lifting up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus.